apologize for America. Now you have a president who is standing up for America and standing up for the great people of Michigan. Here we are in Michigan. The crowd is a hearty crowd. Look at them. They're still up there. They've been here, some of them, since 6 a.m. It's about 10 degrees of the wind chill. But nobody's leaving. The president's still speaking. You can see him in the background there. We didn't care about elections before Trump. Now we care. We care a lot. We have to have Trump. We love Trump. We love him. We love him. We're keeping him. We're keeping him for four more years. When we win, Michigan wins. When we win, America wins. And that's what I want. That's all I want. Why are you supporting Trump? He's a candidate for life, and he supports Christians, especially Chaldean Christians. We love you, President Trump. And he's a candidate for America. Catholics for Trump. I'm My parents came here 40, 40 years ago from Iraq. Legally, we support Donald J. Trump. Why do you like Trump? He followed through on all, all of his promises. Does that mean he's a real politician? <laughs> we love that he's not. Now, even in near freezing temperatures, uh, you couldn't sense that anything but excitement and energy was in the air. But Joe Biden was on the trail at the same time as Trump's Michigan rally, and he too was making his final plea to the voters. Though I'm not sure his closing message made a lot of sense. I'll mobilize, mobilize a true international effort to stop China's abuses. Yikes. Okay. Well, back to President Trump. After the first rally ended, we packed up, boarded Air Force Two on our way to Green... Well, Air Force One is a smaller plane. On the way to Green Bay, Wisconsin. Now, right off the flight, I caught up with the Commander-in-Chief for just a quick temperature check. In Green Bay, Wisconsin, look at this crowd. It's massive. What does it make you feel like? It's very exciting. There's a lot of love, and we look forward to it. It's great to have you. Now, that message of confidence and trust in the people of Wisconsin was echoed by his chief of staff, Mark Meadows. What do you think? You're going to take Wisconsin again? We're going to take Wisconsin. If the people of Wisconsin vote their values, vote uh, their prosperity, they're going to vote for Donald J. Trump. Unbelievable crowd, unbelievable day. And here's, here's, what, here's what we also know. If you go around this crowd, these are hardworking Americans. They're the people that do the vast majority of the living and dying in, in our country in quite...